Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Welcome to another vlog on One Man and His Boat. Yes, I'm calling it a vlog and not an episode. And that's because it's a how to do. Yes, I'm going to teach you on how to make your stainless steel go from this to this. So if that's something you're interested guys, please stay tuned. But guys, before we get started, I've got top news for y'all. Look at this behind me. You'll never guess what this is. Guys doing the cottage there. We're getting fibre optic, yes. Finally, one man and his boat might get into the 21st century. Yes, I live in an 18th century house. Doesn't even have central heating. <laughs> but we might be getting fibre optic. So, fingers crossed this is gonna be happening in the next couple of weeks or so, and we'll be able to get back to our normal vlogs. Right, let's get back on with what I was trying to teach you. Right guys, before we get started, we need to find out if we have 316 stainless steel or not. Now, you should have, I don't know if you can see that very well. Oh, hold on now. Let me zoom in, where are you? Right guys, that's the number we're looking for, is 316. Sometimes it will have an L on the end of that, it all depends on the type of stainless steel it is. Right guys, obviously we've seen, we've, we've got a nice stamp on that sh nice new bit of stainless steel. But what happens if you haven't got that stamp? How do you know if it's uh, 316 or not? Well, it's as simple, sorry, it's as simple as getting one of these guys an old magnet. Yeah, simple. Put it around your boat, put it on it, if it doesn't stick, if it's 316, if it's 304, you'll probably get this. See the difference? Now, obviously, I'm just a fisherman, I'm not a chemical engineer, so I don't know what the difference is between the 316. Well, I do know what the difference is, but I can't remember the, the technical names at all. Basically, there's less uh, metal in that 316 than there is in the 304, so that's why you've got a magnetic thing with the 304 and not with the 316. However, I don't know the actual properties of it at all. So you're just going to have to take my word for it. Or Google it, that's a better idea. Right, so we're getting on with this now. Uh, we'll get back on subject, which is trying to get this to look like that. Right guys, in fact, I'm not going to do that bit of metal. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this strip off the boat because the rest of it has been polished, apart from this strip. This is the first strip I actually put on the Lindsay B and I thought I'll do it on the boat, but it's a lot easier to actually do it on the workbench. So I'm going to take this off and we're going to run through the whole process of making it as shiny as the top stuff. Right guys, first of all, I'm actually going to go through with you all the items that you need to get to your tar from your tarnished stainless steel to your shiny stainless steel. What we need first is our grinder, then obviously our PPE, then we need a blue flap disc. This is a fine course and that's for taking the tarnish off the stainless steel. Then we need a sand and backing pad. Then we need various sand and discs. And then one, 
two, three polishing pads. Now the colour of wax we need is the first one is black, second is green and last is white. Now all this is going to help you get shiny shiny. What I should have said at the start of this vlog was I am not a professional, I do not do this for a living and it's took me a long time to figure this out but it's a top tip that I really need to share with you guys because we have had a lot of questions through our social media uh, groups about how did I get my sh shiny stainless steel as shiny as I did. <laughs> so I thought I best share with you guys. Right guys, you see the scratches that we have here? Well I've got to take all this off and all these scratches are all the way along. Right, obviously you can see here I've had a little polish, that was my first attempt at polishing eh, before I knew what I was doing. You can see the difference between the light polish and the tarnished stuff. So what we've got to do is take this tarnished stuff off. And the way we do that guys is by using the grinder and the blue pad, the fine pad. And you just, the weight of the grinder is enough. You don't have to put any pressure on this whatsoever because the more pressure you put, the more you're going to scratch your work, first, eh, work surface. So let's get the PPE on shall we? Right guys, first we're going to go on to the 180, 180 grit, it's just your basic orbital sander pad. Now that all the tarnish has been taken off and all the uh, crap basically has been taken off the stainless steel, it is now ready for getting down to the nitty gritty so we can take all these scratches out. Now top tip, I will say this about your grinder. You get a better polish if you do it very slightly at an angle on this corner but in the middle. If you, if you put too much to the front it will scratch, if you put too much to the back it will actually catch the metal and you'll tear the disc. So try and keep it about the centre on but like a slight angle, very light. And once again, just the weight of the grinder. Do not push, do not get into nitty gritty, let the polisher do the work, let this disc do all the work for you. Right guys, and our top tip, uh, basically you go through that same process but using the different grades of grit, 240, 320, 400, uh, get up to 600, 800 and if you want that super sort of uh, mirror finish then you're going up to 1500, 2400, the, the sky's the limit. You just basically bring in that grade down all the time but because the Lindsay B is a workboat we're not going quite into that plus I've only got up to 800 anyway. So we're, the, our final pass will be the 800 grit before we go on to polishing. So um, once again, keep it light, take the weight of the grinder, let the grinder do the work. Okay, do not press hard because you'll just scratch your workpiece and then you're in a work of hurt to try and repair that part. So let's get on with it, shall we? So guys, we're now on to polishing. Uh, I've saved you the grace, actually watched me going back and forth a half a dozen times on this bit of metal with all the different grades of sanding. Now, first grade we want to start with the polishing is the black. 
basically the, the different colours is just a different grades. So this is very gritty compared to the green and then your uh, white is your actual final polish. Uh, just like everything else in the world, it always works better with lubricant, alright? This is just plain water. We scoot down the work surface, we scoot down the back of the grinding pad and we put a little bit of wax on and then we go to town. Uh, we keep the piece cool by spraying the water once again as we're working and over time it will we'll get to show how much of a difference it actually makes. What I suggest to you guys is put a little bit of a dish soap in here and uh, that will give you that little bit more lubricant again. I don't do this because this is actually the, for scooting at the cats. <laughs> And that is only our first go. Uh, the magic doesn't really happen until you start using the green and then the white just makes it go Mwah! perfect. Right guys, now we're on to the favourite, the green. This makes all the difference to the piece itself and I'll show you. Do you see what I've got to put up with with my rude brother-in-law? <laughs> anyway guys, we're on to the last, last bit is the white. Now the white is the final polish and this just makes it go, oh, just sparkly, sparkly. So there we go guys, that's how we make a tarnished bit of stainless steel into a shiny bit of stainless steel. Hope that answers all you guys questions. Uh, I'm away to stick this back on the boat and for those of you who are a keen eye, it's going back on the boat properly, it will get seeker flexed and each screw will get seeker flexed as well. Uh, I've only put the two on at the present properly, 
So everything is getting done properly on the uh, Lindsay B guys, I can assure you that. Right guys, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, write a comment below and I'll answer them as soon as I possibly can. Hey, subscribe to the channel and tick that notification bell and YouTube will make you feel very special indeed. Until your next vlog my friends, all the very best.